still a national matter. The Supreme Court has affirmed the election of Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State. A seven-man panel of the courts led by Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Mohammed, made this declaration in two judgments, dismissing the separate appeals filed by the People's Democratic Party and the Socialist Democratic Party. The Apex Court affirmed the earlier uh, July the 4th, 2020 judgments of the Court of Appeal in Abuja and verdicts of the Election Petition Tribunal, which had both upheld Bello's victory at the poll. You could see that the Supreme Court today, in deciding the case, said they needed to bring people who were at those polling units to give life to the documents they brought. Most of the documents brought were not spoken to by the makers of those documents. And even the expert evidence, the court held that there was no pleading to support that particular evidence of PW19 because they have abandoned those two grounds of the petition with order on corrupt practices and non-compliance. So you cannot use facts pleaded in support of non-compliance and corrupt practices to establish majority of lawful votes. While in the other petition, the court also held that the allegations of qualification, non-qualification against Alaji Ayabello and Edward Onoja, the deputy governor, governor, deputy governor of the Kogi state, were not established. They were not able to bring evidence to contradict the, they are from CF0 and which they submitted to INEC. So the court uh, didn't hesitate to dismiss that allegation. I believe judgment has been delivered and it's technical. And, uh, I think I wish that our democracy would be more democracy than a militarized democracy that is sanctioned by the judiciary. But I will say that that is the judgment of the Supreme Court. I thank them. The judgment is first and foremost very, very sound. Uh, there was a lot of industry, uh, a lot of scholarship, and a lot of erudition that went into the delivery of the judgment. But bottom line, the judgment is the confirmation of the will of the good people of the state. If you listen to the judgment, they said the, the petitioners came just on the academic exercise and that all the allegations lack merit. They didn't even have evidence of anybody coming to stand that the election was not free and fair, that the election was rigged. Now, they generalized their allegations. They said crimes were committed. By who? In law, you don't generalize crime criminal activities. You must be specific. So we want to thank God that we have judiciary that is very, very credible. And we thank God that more than ever before, we now have a leader in our state, our governor, who our people, the people of Kogi State, believe in his leadership, and they have affirmed that.